This is uh, called Playboy uh, Architecture and it's uh, 1953 to 79 and the whole project started as a research project with uh, PhD students here at Princeton um, and it's a research project which started with the very simple realization that architecture play an enormous role in, uh, in the uh, magazine. You know, the magazine has been studied from every single point of view. Major scholars like Umberto Eco has written about uh, Playboy and uh, literature, or Playboy and other things, but nobody seemed to have realized the significance that architecture and design had for the magazine. So about, um, what is it, like four years ago, we started this uh, series of seminars and uh, workshops where we went through the magazine, uh, identifying all the in moments in which architecture or design was there. And it was extraordinary, it was an extraordinary revelation. The conception for the show was in fact to take apart the magazine, to explode it into its constituent parts, and to look at the role of design uh, as it uh, played itself out in constructing what we call during the, the, the conception of the show, um, the, the imaginary of seduction or an architecture of seduction. To imagine how uh, design and architecture played a role in creating a kind of environmental effect uh, that uh, the Playboy could use to um, more or less seduce the Playmate in the kind of apartments. Basically I contributed to the writing part as I told, so like about like how fiction and storytelling was part of Playboy, in the, especially in the 50s. And uh, so let's say I was like responsible to gathering all the uh, fictive writing, so the short story they were published in those years. So the students work collectively in the research and the research is materialized in an exhibition, a publication, a catalog, a conference, and all of the above. So they, it's not only a reflection on media and architecture, but a way of experimenting with uh, media by the students themselves. The PhD program at Princeton is specifically geared towards students who already arrive with an idea of the kind of research that they want to do. And the openness of the curriculum allows you to immediately dive in, not just to the work that you want to do, but also into basically constructing a kind of professional identity for yourself. These kinds of projects where we work as teams project us out into the world from the very first year or two that we're already at Princeton.